Hey guys, so today's video is just a random green text compilation that we've had saved for quite a while. Hope you like a lot of pop culture references because quite a lot are in here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Agree to run a mutants and masterminds game. Lay out a Silver Age comic book setting. Players show up with blatantly par gamed anime PCs with Japanese names <laughs> and gritty angst filled backstories. Great. <laughs> Sweet. Their first mission was to fight Dr. Simeon and his legion of super apes. My face when all the players get mad for not taking the game seriously. <laughs> My face when I don't give a fuck and just keep rolling out the legion of ridiculously overblown supervillains. My face when they try to be evil but are always loved by the populace anyway. <laughs> My face when one of the PCs finally snaps and tries murdering the mayor to prove that he is a dark and vicious person. My face when the mayor is a scroll and he is an even bigger hero now. I guess in this case, I was that guy. Wait, so they were trying to be angsty anti-heroes and the world just wouldn't cooperate? Eternally, I fight a war on two fronts. I must protect the city and I must battle the inner demons of my own cruel desires. What are we up against this week? The Cruel Klein Coalition. Coalition. <laughs> They're racist clowns with mutant battle koalas. Wait, hold up a second. This was, this was written in 2011. This was way before the Crown World meme took off. Oh, here. Yeah. Is this foreshadowing? Foreshadowing, predicting protect, the future. <laughs> God damn it, I go burn down an orphanage. They're all scroll infiltrators. You make the front page of the Times for your heroism. God damn it, Dave! <laughs> this is fucking awesome, and I'm totally doing this to the next edgy character in my group. Honestly, it does sound like... But the thing is, it's Mutants and Masterminds, yeah. so it is kind of... You can do cheese on that yeah. and not really worry. But it is a good way to counterplay a overly edgy character. Yeah, that's actually... No, that's yeah. a good way to go about it. Yeah, I like that. My friend and I are really unoriginal. When we make PCs, we usually base them off already established fictional characters. In Shadowrun, we played as a hitman duo, being a cyborg, him being a mage, called the Crane Bros. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. The Cray Twins. <laughs> that, oh, no, actually, no, I like that. No, Crane. Like oh, Frasier Crane. Oh, Frasier. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Essentially, they were Frasier and Niles Crane from Frasier. When our characters were introduced, the party's stealth expert was eavesdropping on our last hit, a client's embezzling co-worker shot between the eyes in the middle of dinner. The dialogue went more or less like this. It appears our target got his just desserts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. You're right though, this is one hit I won't be losing a wink of sleep over. I never knew you felt so strongly about corporate embezzling. Not that. Whoever mixes high Chinese decor with Persian rug deserves what's coming to him. <laughs> oh, shoot him again. <laughs> we were playing out one of those infiltrate the fancy party scenarios. Niles, my friend, had joined another one of our guys in luring a target, an orc, into a wine cellar so we could kidnap him. They I can see that as an actual episode of Leisure. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I can see that. They fielded the knocking him out stealthily and he fought back, went into a berserk rage, punched Niles into a pile of barrels and got the other guy in the chokehold. Gurk, Niles, use magic! I don't think my brother has disabled the anti-magic generator yet. Hit him then! I don't think he'll even feel it. Hit him with a wine bottle. Oh, good idea. His player rolls to find wine from a subpar year before bashing it. <laughs> before bashing the orc with it. Another was later that campaign when we got into a firefight with some mutri, Bulgarian mobsters. After killing the mobsters, I started undoing the dead boss's belt. If you wanted him so badly, you could have merely wounded him. Oh, haha. Ha. I'm simply trying to get the man's belt. Really, Fraser? You're resorting to thievery now? For God's sake, man, he's wearing a brown Armani belt with black <laughs> shoes. Black shoes, Niles! <laughs> Unforgivable. There, there, little one, you're safe now. I have the perfect set of brown loafers to pair with you at... Oh, wait, this isn't real leather. It's a knockoff. I've been deceived. <laughs> Just like that waitress you fancied on our assignment in Thailand. What was his name again? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good. That Come to good. think of it, have any, have any of you guys ever played like a 
Jew character like this, anything yeah. like that. It doesn't have to be Jew, but have you ever actually just made a straight up knockoff? Yeah, I've I'm been, sure a lot of you have. I, I was talking to my DM Nick about this the other day, and he's really thinking about doing like a Michael Jackson. Oh, that'd one, be good. like a sorcerer Michael Jackson, and yeah. uh, you know, I think you could do an awful lot with yeah. that. And I, I really personally want to do Bean, but like a hex bleed Bean. Yeah, you know, I think that'll be a lot of fun. I, th- I would like to play um, like either a barbarian or a human fighter, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, but um, he constantly talks about the fights of his past and the battles that he's been. Yeah, through. it's just like him talking about the movies. That he's yeah, been. <laughs> no, that would be pretty good. That yeah. would that would that would work really well. He starts you know? talking about Jingle all the way. Yeah, <laughs> I had to get this Children's artifact. Toy. <laughs> this artifact. This the MacGuffin's child's toy. Yes. Yeah. Him, that guy. Him, Kyle. Him come to table with a binder. What is this him about? Him, I don't know. <laughs> Ask Kyle what is that. It's my tune anon. Ask why binder. It references to items for quick nerf. Quick, quick and quick and ref. Quick, quick ref. Okay, quick nerf. <laughs> <laughs> Ask why so much item. Why so much? Why? What, what is this? Is he Asian? Is low level game. Oh, I just give myself extra inheritance money from my old avatars. Uh, they him parent. Ask how much. He then bitch cries, say on realism his parent adventure will give extra gold pieces. Spoiler, him's parent is dead though. Why is this like? <laughs> Alright, Grog, absolute keef, man. <laughs> In English, please. <piece. laughs> Things your GM wouldn't let you get away with. Playing Pathfinder. Rope has two hit points per length. Costs only one gold per 50 feet. Weighs 10 pounds. Started with 100 gold. 500 feet of rope, please. Calculate my character's circumference. Find that I can wind the rope around myself several times and give myself a starting (laughs) at 30 plus HP. Okay. GM lights my rope armor on fire. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Fuck hemp hem rope. (laughs) You know what? If someone wanted to try this, I would let them. But you're looking at a max dex of minus four, maybe five, zero AC and five foot max speed. But if you really wanted to waddle around as a ball of twine, man, sure, go for it. You will look silly and not be that effective, but what the hell, people do retarded shit all the time. It would only take a few enemy hits to cut through your rope armor anyway. Honestly, not the worst thing I've heard. No. I've heard a lot worse. Yeah, so have I. But rope armor, like, you're going to look like Michigan, man. <laughs> Yeah, you will. The, the group version of Michigan Man. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on the story. Five years ago, I was playing an online sci-fi homebrew. My character is the head of station security on a space station orbiting some exoplanet. I name him Sergeant Frank Drebin. Nobody gets the reference. Actual rank is Lieutenant, so his full title is Lieutenant Sergeant Frank Drebin. The rest of the party consists of the Captain, the head of engineering, and a scientist. A suspected terrorist is captured by one of my teams. Time for interrogation. Captain asks me what I'm going to do. Me. I think it's time for some good cop, bad cop. Captain. Who's the good cop and who's the bad cop? Me. I am. (laughs) (laughs) Walks in the interrogation room. Me. You uncomfortable? Is there anything I can get for you? (laughs) Terrorist. No, um, I'm good. Me. How about some hot cocoa? You want some hot cocoa? Sure. Me. Flips the table. I bet you'd love some hot cocoa, wouldn't you? (laughs) Terrorist, what the fuck? (laughs) Me, I bet it would taste really fucking nice right now. Sweet and warm, with creamy fucking marshmallows on top, you sick fuck. (laughs) (laughs) This is perfect. (laughs) Terrorist, I... What? (laughs) Me, backhands him. Admit it, you fucking love cocoa, don't you? You can't get enough of it. Terrorist, fine, I fucking love it, okay? (laughs) Me. That's what I thought. Walks to the door and sends for Coco. Terrace, what the hell kind of cop are you? Me. I'm the kind of cop who gets results. Now tell me everything. Her. Listen, I swear I don't know nothing. 
Me. Nothing. Who's nothing? Who do you work for? Nothing. <laughs> Terrorist. What? I, I, what? No. Me. Kicks over his chair. Tell me everything you know about nothing. <laughs> if none of you have watched like airplane or anything like that, I yeah. don't know you, if you still get all this. Ah, uh, no, I think most people would. Terrorist. That doesn't even make sense. Me. I'm not interested in small change. I want the big guy. Where's nothing hiding? Terrorist. There is no nothing. Me. There will be no double negatives in my interrogation room. Terrorist. I mean, I, I don't know anybody. Me. Who is anybody and what does he have to do with nothing? <laughs> <laughs> guy comes back with hot cocoa. Me. Perfect. Thank you. Sits the terrorist chair back up and hands him the cocoa. Me. I think we both may have lost our heads for a bit. Let's just relax. Starts rubbing his shoulders. <laughs> Terrorist visibly uncomfortable. Me. Now you just enjoy that cocoa. Reaches for laser pistol. And tell me everything you know about your plot before I get to the count of bang. Terrorist. Huh? Me. Oh. Uh. Terrorist. I don't know anything. Me. Oh. Terrorist. What are you doing? Me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Do you get it? No. Oh. E oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Points the laser pistol at his knee. Terrace, what the fuck is happening? Me, ting, tang. tang. Terrace, they don't have anything. Well, well, bing, bang. Walla, walla. Please, somebody help me. Me, bing. <laughs> Terrace, what's wrong with you? Me, pulse trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Terrace gives me all the info I need. GM and players are confused as fuck. Like, like, er, maybe unorthodox, but got the job done. Me. Okay, everyone, listen up. There's a bomb in Sector 3G. It's set to explode at 800 hours. Keep your eyes out for nothing. And remember that anybody could be armed and dangerous. Don't be afraid to shit on sight. And that hot chocolate was delicious. <laughs> 27 people were killed or injured in the ensuing police action. <laughs> That's perfect. That's really good. That's I love good. it. Once we trolled the shit out of my DM by picking up a 300 pound stone throne and using it as, well, I suppose the closest descriptor to it would be the most unwieldy wand ever. <laughs> what? what? It had a bunch of gems inset into it that were charging with various spells. Wait, I mean, is this going to be like the Infinity Gauntlet or some shit? <laughs> but 300 pound stone. Yeah, <laughs> knock off Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> And the secretary for the big bad evil guy's tar had been sitting on it or something. Almost all the charges for the various spells the person sitting in the chair could use were pretty much still there. Because we wrapped up that encounter pretty quick. So being the non-linear thinkers we were, we calculated how much we could carry between us all. And carried this gigantic gaudy fucking stone thrown up flights upon flights of stairs. Like some sort of retarded Ark of the Covenant, <laughs> blasting encounters with its magic while our DM looked at us like we kicked a baby or something. We fucking love that throne. <laughs> Honestly, it sounds pretty cool though. Yeah, it, it does. does. It sounds like it is. Yeah, no, that, that, that's that's cool. Sounds funny as fuck. Yeah. Joined a new group in my area recently. Went to their place for the first session last night. Oh boy. GM, 22 year old dude with goatee and glasses. Seemed pretty chill. 20-something dude with sideburns, eldest hair, and a red Hawaiian. <laughs> Bit of a smart ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I know someone like that IRL. So do I. I know, <laughs> I know this person. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a smart ass, but he knows when to curb it from what I saw. Oh, no, the guy I know doesn't know. The guy, yeah, no, it's a different person now. Who are you thinking about? Mari. <laughs> <laughs> 20-something super overweight dude, but he seems very hygienic and laughs a lot. Reminds me of a young John Candy. What is it with this video and all this, like, 80s, 90s references? Yeah, yeah. Sister one, about 16, I guess. Glasses, brown hair, quiet but smiles a lot. Sister two, probably 12, 13 or so, long brushed hair. I what the fucked for a minute, but John Candy bro told me to stick with it because they can game. I'm here for a game, so I sit down. They want to see what level I game at, so they give me a pre-made character for the first session, which is one shot. No probs, I take the human bard and start playing. That, that tells me exactly who the fuck you are. Yeah. You pick the human bard. Yeah. I am playing, I am playing no human bard with, <laughs> with, with fucking kids about. I no know, way. No. 
all characters are reasonably well played. The dudes get right into character and the older sister is playing an uncaring thief really damn well. But younger sister's character, a witch of some kind, is kinda kidsy. Oh well. Second night we're at an inn. Witch comes to my room and invites herself in. Oh, no. Mm. Saying she has a question for the bard. I get her a drink and reply that I'm merely a man going on adventures, seeking fortune and singing ballads. She nods and smiles as we toast adventuring. Suddenly, I can't move. Secretly rolled poison roll and paralyzed me. Levels ring at me. Casts a spell and stabs me to death with a stone dagger. GM says my soul is in the ring along with a handful of others that came before. She says, another for my collection, and the table erupts in laughter. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Apparently it's some kind of hazing they do, letting the younger sister kill the unsuspecting newbie in a one-shot for a laugh while they gauge how well they play. The two guys said they have character souls in that ring too. Sisters seemed well amused. Joke with me a little for buying into the witch's kidsiness. Apparently they both can play well and have been playing for years. Group said they want me to come back and game again, but with a real character. My mind is still full of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds legit. Never trust little girls. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck that. No, that, that's good. That's good. It's nice to hear someone <laughs> yeah. be able to play well with them, you know what I mean? So I think we might do another, because I've got tons of these. Yeah, I've had the, tons I've, of I've, these. I've got loads of them, and I've had them saved for a while, so why not? Yeah, so you let know. us know if this is something that you like. Just yeah. random, random green tear. Green also, tests. actually, come to think of it, if you have any, um, submit them some way. We've got tons of stuff. There's tons like, of, and there's tons uh, of ways to submit them. Yeah, <laughs> it's got Discord, Check Facebook. Out the links. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, there's tons of links down there. You, you're bound to use something. <laughs> there's going to be something that you actually exactly. use. Exactly. You know, so go ahead, check that out. Also, we got some new models. All yes, that jazz. check out the links got to the models. got some fat titties, just so you know. I can't post them here because... Check that... out the subclasses as well. Oh, yeah, the subclasses are good. And our t-shirts. Go ahead, check them out. Hit subscribe. Um, oh yeah, Megan, you're uploading tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, I'm uploading a video on my channel tomorrow. A wee bit late, but yeah. baby stuff, guys. Baby stuff. Um, yeah, so hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!